Hey folks, I hope you're doing well. Uh, these are two miniatures that I've finished recently. I thought I'd get a video out uh, in good time for Halloween because these are two creepy little guys um, relevant for the time of year, I think. Uh, but they're from the Bones range by Reaper Miniatures. Um, now, I've not done my homework, uh, so anything I say is kind of just based on my own opinion of them at the minute. Um, but the Bones range, I'm not sure if it was created uh, with the intention of being a cheaper uh, range of miniatures or an easier one because these came as fully assembled uh, minis there was nothing to put together they were just one piece sculpts um, or if it was uh, they used the plastic they did for a higher level of detail or what um, but the the plastic itself is really flexible like um, this, you can see <laughs> they're almost um, the plastic almost reminds me of like the the same plastic that the uh, like, you know, basic green army men from your childhood or whatever. Uh, the plastic reminds me of that, so it was a bit interesting to paint, it was different, there was, there was flexibility when I was painting, so that was kind of interesting. Um, but, uh, this was another um, thing that I've had lying around for ages, it's also from the, the Reaper Bones range. So this is, uh, I'll go back to these guys in a second, um, but this was uh, a that that's it basically that was the miniature I can't I don't know if I can show you that's the kind of thing that's going on with these I'm not doing this overly hard by the way I'm just sort of like tweaking it and it totally warps the entire thing so that's like the the rubbery sort of nature that they have to them um, this is meant to be like a, a little altar but even without doing anything to it it looks really kind of um, warped as it is um, the skulls on top, for example, are um, kind of like elongated. Um, they don't really look like uh, like actual skulls. I don't know. They just they, so this. I'm not. I'm not going to paint this up because I, I just I, there's nothing I would really want uh, to to do with this once it's done. I get what they were going for. They're just going for a little altar. Um, but yeah, it's just. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to spend time on this, really. Um, so that's that's that. I'm just showing you guys. I'm not trying to like um, rip apart a, a brand or whatever. I'm just showing you my kind of uh, my first impressions of it, I guess. Uh, so back to these guys. Um, this guy is Mr. Bones, this little dude, and then this is Gauntfield. It's called. Uh, so this is just uh, a little. Uh, skeleton guy, he's got a, a little cloak and a bag of bones. Um, he's got a lantern there, I've added some lighting effects. Um, I'm not too great with lighting effects, I've not done much of them at all, so I'm not too sure if... Um, I, I never know whether to do the... Like, for example, if I can explain this right, the, um, the colours that you see in the lantern, right, usually there's like a, a bright light source and then it kind of fades out to like an orange or whatever. So I wasn't sure if I should um, if I should be doing the the uh, source lighting in a brighter uh, the brighter colors in here or in the the oranges. I went for the the oranges and the darker colors because that's like the glow effect, I guess. Um, so that that's what I'm going for there. So another uh, a little attempt at uh, source lighting there. Um, so yeah, just a, a creepy little uh, little skeleton dude. Um, he's cool though. And this guy I really like. He's a, a gaunt field. He's a, a scarecrow type character. So again, just um, made out of. Uh, he's got a, a sack of, of. I don't know if these guys go together, but they both got uh, sacks of, of skeletons. They look kind of good together, so that's cool. Um, but yeah, just uh, I really like the the sculpt on his face. Um, if I can try and show you that, so. Just a, a classic sort of creepy scarecrow looking guy. Um, but yeah, this uh, it's hard because I, I really, I like the sculpts. I've not looked at any others really in the range. I should have done. Um, but this has put me off doing that or, or put me off um, buying anymore, I guess. Um, I've had these in my collection for a long time. Decided to paint them up and uh, they were still in the, the blister packs for ages. So. I've only recently kind of um, got my hands on the, the miniatures themselves. Um, 
so yeah, mixed mixed feelings about it really. Um, l let me know what you guys think of, of the Bones range as a whole. Um, is there a reason for it? Am I missing something? <laughs> Am I missing the point entirely? Um, I don't know. I don't even know if it's if it's still going. Um, these are from 2013, so only f what five years ago, almost six years ago. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's it's an ongoing range. Um, and yeah, I, I don't know if I'm going to look into it too much more. Um, but there you go. Just uh, just a quick look at these two guys. I can uh, kind of take them off the the two make videos <laughs> pile that I have. Let me know what you think uh, about the the range in the comments. Uh, it'd be great to get some feedback and hear your guys' opinions on it. And I hope you uh, come back and check out what I've got going on in the future. Uh, but until the next one, cheers for watching, and I will catch you all later. Goodbye.